Hey guys, it's Gus and Carlos from Hardware Unplugged and today we're going to be unboxing the Ultra Custom Symmetrical by Ponage. But before we get started, please make sure to hit that like button to show support and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe. With that being said, let's begin. Alright, so here we have the Ponage Symmetrical and this thing was late for the longest just like the super light because of the yep. whole holidays and stuff like that. Um, but we finally got it and yeah, I, I, now we got the Ponage Ultra Custom. That one was an Ergo Ultra, yeah, and, Ultra it was, and it and was, was a big mouse. I remember that. It was, that. It was, it was that pretty was big. big I was going to play comfortable though and I noticed that I played eye with it. I was, I, I was yeah, I wasn't. Yeah. I was really comfortable. I wasn't really yeah. playing like my best because the shape wasn't really for me, right? Yeah, but yeah. I liked it um, and it felt. The quality was okay, like for yeah. for what I paid. I paid I think and six, at that time, yeah, at that for time, wireless mouse, for wireless, Ergo, lightweight, lightweight, mouse, yeah. Mouse. I was like, oh, it's pretty good, you know. I I felt it like passed, I, you know, yeah, I mean, like it passed. I got what I paid for because remember I spent like sixty bucks because it was like on Kickstarter and stuff. I, yeah, so I got yeah, it super early, right? Yeah. Early bird pressure, whatever, blah, blah blah. But this one, now this one was priced at eighty. I think it was like ninety bucks or ninety five bucks okay. originally. I got it on sale and it was eighty bucks, like nice. shipping and tax okay. and stuff like like eighty five bucks something like that. Okay. So, I can't wait to see that because all these other mice out here, yes. like the mice, they're above, they're eighty bucks and above, right? So, mm -hmm. it's, uh, like the okay, the freaking uh, the G Pro Wireless, that's one hundred twenty. That's one hundred twenty. The freaking uh, the Steel Series Arx three is one hundred, yeah. and then we have a Super Light, obviously one hundred fifty, right? So seeing okay. this uh, amongst all the other uh, wireless mouse, mm -hmm. you know, it's something. It's it, to me the price is attractive. So yeah, now yeah. let's see the quality and stuff like that. It's good, right? So let's go ahead and unbox it. So. Here we have this, the mouse, right? You have mouse, cable, we'll yep. get into that right now, but this is the main thing. And this, oh, this, shape, this shape look, kind of looks interesting. They kind of look, it kind of, uh, oh, okay, go, go. It almost looks like an S2, almost, almost, because the hump, the way it's kind of low, but it has no, like no, a hump no, no, and stuff. No, no. Like, I, don't, it, I don't remember the S2 being like that, no, 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 no like, way. It reminds me of a mouse we tried, like, it I don't know. It reminds me, like, okay. Uh, it doesn't sound kind of crazy and stupid, but um, MM7 MM710. Okay, okay, then but like, yeah. like a taller version, yeah, and a like taller and like slightly longer version, yeah. and a little bit more narrow. Uh, just, just, it, just a little bit more narrow. It almost does when look at the hump, yeah, yeah, right? yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, it, I don't know, it, it looks like that. I mean, and you know what? Okay, so I don't know, I feel like I've seen this mouse before, yeah. I feel like the shape, well, the, the back, at least the back, this hump, this it reminds me of something. I just because it doesn't, because I can tell you right now, I've tried the S2 and I know what an S2 looks like, yeah. and it really doesn't look like an S2. Does it feel like an S2, at least, dude. I ain't gonna lie, this shape's awesome. so like an S2 Baby. almost because the S2 uh, feels good, remember. We'll compare that another no, we'll get, we'll get, back I don't with think that. it, no, 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 I don't think it does, but um, uh, god damn it, you know, when I turn, you know, you. Right on my brain. I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling yeah, you, cause we'll, like we'll see. we'll see what's up. We'll you see know why? Cause whenever this is not, it, it it's like you see how my knuckles rest mm -hmm. here. Like it, it feels, it feels pretty good, dude. Like uh, yeah, like I palming it. I was like, dude, like the shape's pretty basic. Yeah, like, like palming it. It feels comfortable, but I don't know. Like again, I started relax line again. Mm -hmm. Uh, we started relax line. I have to mention that uh, again. But this doing like this, it feels really good. And, like I feel, I feel the the hump yeah. right here on my knuckles. Nice. Um, but let's go ahead and do sounds and stuff like that. Let's go to clicks. Call me crazy, but those sound like the super like clicks. Almost, yeah. They kind Almost, of do. right? Yeah. I'm not saying it's not super light, but you know, but I'm just yeah. saying. Scroll wheel. Uh, side buttons. Mm, Here's like some uh, post travel. Post travel, yeah. Mm, just by looking at your face, I already kind of knew what it was. Yeah, it's like a little mushy. EPI. Yeah, the buttons feel okay. You know what I mean? The build quality. I'm not. I'll tell you one thing. This build quality feels a lot more sturdy than the yeah, orange the, custom, yes, right? Yeah, yeah. I think they use uh, like a different plastic. Yeah, I think so too, actually. So there's some side flicks. You have to press a hard though. Yeah, we do have to press hard, like with a pretty good amount of force. Moss one and two is a wow. Moss wow, one true. doesn't really wobble a whole lot as much as you thought or as much as you think. Dude, they don't basically hardly wobble, dude. Like at all. Scroll wheel silent. I, I like that, you know. I'm not gonna lie. Going from the super light after using it and going this, I, I'm able to tell the weight. 
Mm. I mean, how much does it weigh? I don't. I, I don't even know how much it weighs. I don't know. They don't. Have, okay. Another thing we have to mention is they have like no info in here, dude. Oh, yeah, like, at all. Box. We'll put it somewhere over here. How it weighs and stuff. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. yeah, I get to that, that super light's a little lighter. I, I feel like maybe, right? Yeah, it's definitely yeah. Well, super light. Yeah, definitely lighter. A lot yeah. lighter. A lot. I could feel that. I was. This isn't. This doesn't feel bad though, dude. How much uh, is this? That was like eighty. Oh, the, you mean weight, dude? I don't know. No, 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 no. Like, like price. Eighty-five. Eighty-five bucks. Well, I got on sale. Usually ninety. Ninety-five. Yeah. I think. I don't even want ninety, dude. This is, this is so far looking pretty. Good. And then you get the extra back shit. We'll go ahead and demonstrate you guys that. But yeah. Uh, you, I think you yeah, just, put your oh, finger in it. Yeah. There's, there's literally like a gap. Yeah, you can just freaking. lift it up and then chill. So that's super yeah. easy. So those who don't want any holes on the back of their mice, you go ahead and just place that one in. It'll probably add weight to it, it but, you know. Yeah. But there you go. You have that option. Right? Yeah. Um, that option. What also comes in here? You get skates and... Oh, wow. Check that out. Yo, one one are thin and the other one's thicker. Yeah. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. That's nice. nice. They Thanks. give you options. I don't know anybody who used the thin ones, but I mean, there you go. You know, you you have option now at least. You know. Yeah. So. All right. This yes, it's pretty cool. I was like, where the heck's my dongle? <laughs> I think it's right here. Oh, it's inside. Yeah, it's inside. Oh, here. that's pretty cool. Now you know what? That's another difference. They actually added a compartment to put yeah. your dongle because the other the other one didn't, right? Something. Yeah. Nah. No. So that's really. That's really huh. great. That's awesome. Hell yeah. What sensor do you, they, they doesn't tell you anything, right? Nothing, nothing well, about it, right? Well, on the box. Oh, we'll go ahead and look that up and stuff. We'll go yeah, back yeah. to you guys. We'll get back to you guys. Blah, blah, blah. Right? But, yes. So far, hmm. I mean, so far, so far, so good. So far, yep. so good. So let's go ahead and take it for a spin and we'll be right back. All right, so we're back from testing. We used the opponent symmetrical for a few days, and what are some of the negatives you, that you can come up with? Uh, so the same thing as the other one, as uh, the opponent. Uh, what's it called? Ultra custom. Oh, that was yeah. the, the ultra Ergo. custom. Yeah. yeah. Um, depth of distance was there. Um, I don't like lift off distance on my mice. Uh, uh, so that's one and two. This mouse is not balanced like at all when it comes yeah. to weight distribution, and I was able to feel that. Uh, it definitely feels a little bit more heavy towards the back of the mouse. And that, and even though this mouse is technically lighter than the Logitech uh, G Pro, Pro Wireless, right? Because uh, that one's 80 grams, this yeah. one's like 72, 72 grams, right? Yeah. 72 grams. Yeah. This still, one still yeah. felt heavier for me. I don't know, maybe I'm crazy or maybe I'm just weird. Yeah. I don't know, but 
this one legit just felt heavier to me. Yeah, see, I it felt, just, I it felt just... the same way because you know what I think it was? I feel like this is more heavy towards the rear. Whenever you lift it up, yeah, it kind of feels, you kind of feel that weight more, you know, mm -hmm, I mean, towards mm -hmm. the back. Yeah. And the Jeep Pro Wireless, yeah, it, remember, it's I, like, 80 grams. First, yeah, yeah, it's 80 but... grams, and I felt that too. Like, um, after after getting some time, I was using it for a while, then went back to mm -hmm. Jeep Wireless. Yeah, Jeep Wireless, it is a little heavier, but like, it's not, the weight is not that much of a huge difference. And, but even though this one's lighter, yeah, I felt at times when picking it up over and over and over, it did feel uh, heavier than the cheaper wireless. Um, yeah. Uh, but other than that, uh, for me, the shape was actually pretty good. I actually like yeah. the shape a lot. The shape's pretty good. The shape's pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't even go as far as to say that it's a shape, that it's a safe shape. Sure, yeah, the shape is actually really good. I like it a lot. Um, mm -hmm. The feet are nothing to actually like, yep. dude, after yeah. like about two, three hours. It took a while right? for me to break them down on this yeah, thing. Yeah. I, I, I had them first. For like three hours or two hours they didn't really break down it was up until like when i was playing with it like yeah like towards the end and stuff maybe yeah. like on the fourth hour that's when they got really smooth and yeah. i was like whoa yeah they get really yeah smooth. and i was able to notice that uh but yeah but the feet are actually surprisingly pretty good yeah yeah like the only th okay when it, when it comes to lift off distance honestly i didn't mm. even mind that like when it comes to yeah, lift off yeah. distance when it comes to the weight i really didn't mind that a whole a whole lot um mm. but to each drone you know we have it's two different two different uh, people two different opinions mm -hmm. um he's more sensitive to lift off distance i hate that so much yeah oh my god and there and there are people out there that really hate the lift off mm -hmm. distance um but to me that i didn't really mind that at all i was playing i was playing fine if i'm being honest yeah um but yeah the feet are good the build quality is actually better than my mm -hmm. opinion than the air though that's the ergo version to me the weight distribution was just so it i don't know it it really, it really just uh, grinded my gears, and I yeah. did not like. The, I was able to tell big time. I, I don't, I don't yeah. know about him again. You know, yeah. two different uh, views uh, actually, like yeah. on this mouse. Yeah. Um, but overall, even though I had an okay experience with it, yeah. do I think the mouse is worth it? Yeah, I, 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 I do. Like for the, yeah. you know what I mean? Like okay. for the value standpoint, it was actually the shape bucks. was pretty good. It was actually eight bucks. Yeah. I mean, again, just because I did not have. The most best time with it doesn't mean that's a bad mouse you know yeah. like, okay. I, I don't think it's a bad mouse this or the rx3 wireless come on by like a mile I don't, like don't even dude. i feel like the, okay yeah. the build quality is better the feet are better you know what <laughs> we i mean got a lot of people from the rx wireless get mad oh shoot yeah it is what it is but <laughs> yeah. yeah like yeah like, like i said um i didn't really mind about the whole weight and yeah. the center thing um yeah he did i did um but yeah i mean you won't know until you actually have to try them out, you know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I think we could all agree though that the sh that the, the, shape the shape is good, the, shape the, feet, is are good. Good. the feet are good, the build quality is good. I like it. <coughs> I think it's priced fairly. Get, yeah, it's priced yeah, fair. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, unlike the Rocks. Yeah, basically. So if you wanted a lightweight S2 wireless, mm -hmm. there you go, yeah. guys. Yeah. Um. But yeah, that's pretty much it, Gus. And Carlos from Hardware and Plug. And we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.